Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a card game. All right, today we're gonna to look at Bears versus Babies, the brand new card game from Elon Lee and Matthew Inman. And if you don't know who Matthew Inman is, he is the brainchild behind the oatmeal. The two of them most recently paired up together when they created Exploding Kittens. I did a review for Exploding Kittens as well, and I'll stick that in the description below. This game is for two to five players, and it's for ages 10 and up. In a nutshell, Bears vs. Babies is a card game where you build handsome, incredible monsters who go to war with horrible, awful babies. All right, so what's in the box? If you buy Bears vs. Babies, what can you expect? It's all cards, all right? It's a completely card-based game. There's no dice, there's no counters, there's nothing like that. Uh, you're gonna get the cards, obviously. You're gonna get a whole bunch of cards, and you're gonna get a play mat, which is awesome. And you're gonna get a couple of different rule books on how to play. All right, so how do you play it? How do you play Bears vs. Babies? Uh, the deck of cards consists of three different types of cards. You have bears, all right, which are really monster building cards. It's not really true that they're bears. Uh, there's only a few that actually look like bears. Most, most of this is monster building. Uh, so you're gonna get bear cards, then you're gonna get baby cards. Babies are your enemies, okay, and they amass in different hordes. They either come at you from land or sea or air. And then you're also gonna have helper cards. Uh, these are kind of like uh, special moves or upgrades that allow you to do things uh, to your opponents. So at the beginning of the game, everyone gets a hand uh, dealt of cards, and then you begin to build your monsters. You build your bears, and they all come in the form of heads and torsos, arms, and legs. And the player can connect those cards where they fit to form an army of creatures uh, right there in the play area in front of them. The babies then are played immediately into the center of the table, and they form three different armies, which have to be stopped by the player's bear creatures. So all war breaks out between babies and monsters when someone, one of the players, provokes the babies with a provoke card. The babies attack all the player's creatures at once, and the player wins or loses the round based on the strength of their creature compared to the strength of the baby army. Strength is determined by the sum of points indicated on each card. Now your main strategy is to provoke the baby army before your opponent's creatures are strong enough to win the game. The helper cards in your deck equip the player, strengthen your army, or attack other players' creatures. And these cards consist of cool things like hats and tools and weapons. How do you win the game? Huh? How do you win the game? Uh, the winner is determined by the player that has the highest point total of beaten, I mean eaten, babies. All right, what about expansion packs? Are there expansion packs out there or other ways that you can make this game even more fun. There is, there is an NSFW uh, expansion pack. It's a little blister pack. It's a not safe for work edition. And I picked it up and you know what I thought? I thought it would be similar to the NSFW that uh, came out when Exploding Kittens came out. Um, however, <laughs> these cards are way more let's say sexually graphic. And so it was actually a little bit too risque for me. I can't even uh, show you a picture of what they look like uh, because I don't want any complaints from any angry mothers. So just know that it's out there. If you want to pick it up, you can. Uh, but it's, a, it's like I said, it's, it's, very, it's very graphic. All right, and so the main question is, is it fun, right? Is it a fun game? And I'll say, you know what? It's a lot like Exploding Kittens in that, you know, you're playing your hand. It's, there's a little bit of strategy in, in the cards, the helper cards that you get, obviously. And I think the more times you play it, you'll learn some more strategic ways to play it. But again, it's very similar to Exploding Kittens where you're just playing the cards that are being randomly dealt into your hand. You don't have a lot of choice as to what your monster looks like. It's, it's almost, there's a big strong element of luck in it. Uh, as well as to whether your monster is gonna defeat the baby horde. But just like Exploding Kittens, the cards are really super humorous to read. Uh, Matthew Inman's you know, art is hilarious and some of the, the names and the things that they come up for the different monster parts and the, and the babies are, are super hilarious and everyone who plays this game around the table is gonna laugh at all the things that you guys come up with. There's also a little bit of like cards against humanity in, in that, that when you stick the cards together, they read funny sentences. And so uh, when you build your monsters in strange configurations, 
sentence that will you know, spell out or read this very humorous sentence and everyone will get a laugh out of that as well. So I gave you a little brief scenario about how to play. Obviously, if you want to learn uh, more about this game, I would definitely head down to bearsversusbabies.com and watch the tutorial on how to play and then definitely go out and pick this up. Go buy Bears vs. Babies and just have a lot of fun with two to five players. Thanks, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.